So you want to export your photos in Photoshop to use for your website, for instance, to showcase your portfolio. And you want to make sure the quality is good, the file size is small, and they are search engine optimized because speed is key for SEO. That means that Google will rank your website higher than others. Well, first of all, you shouldn't use JPEG these days. There are better options available. And I'm going to show you exactly which one you need to use and what the settings are. All right, let's go into Photoshop. So I have this photo in Photoshop and I want to upload this to my website. There's a couple of things that I need to do for this. First of all, what you want to do is you want to go to image, image size, and here you want to check the image size. This image has 4,520 pixels with, if you're going to upload this on your website in these sizes, it's going to be a huge file size. You can see here 41 MB size. That's way too big for your website. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to drop the resolution here. So let's say for the website, I can use maybe 1200, maybe even smaller. This all depends on what you're going to use it for. If you are using it for a header in your website or a full screen background, for instance, then you can use something big like maybe 9020 or something. But if you're going to use it to showcase your portfolio, like these small images on your website, use way less resolution, like maybe 800 or something. I'm going to go for 1200. This is fine for web. Here you want to select by cubic sharper reduction to make sure it's sharp when you reduce the size. Now let's reduce it and let's zoom in here. It's still fine. The next thing what we need to do is we need to make sure we select the right format that we use for website. Usually people will go for JPEG or PNG. JPEG and PNG are good, but there is a problem with them. They are too big in size when you use it for web, especially when you have big photos that you want to showcase to people. So let's go for something else. I'm going to go to file and I'm going to select save as, and here we're going to select WebP. WebP is great for web because it reduces the file size and you can define how much of the quality you want to keep. So let's select WebP. I'm going to save it as all WebP. And here is the trick you need to do. When you select lossless, it's going to keep the original quality, but we're going to do lossy because we want to reduce the file size. And here you need to select the quality. When you go for 100, it's going to be a bit big in size. When you see the difference between 100 and 80, there is no difference. You won't even notice that. So you can go from 100 all the way to 70, sometimes even 50 and lower. This depends on your photo and what you want to use it for. If you have a bigger photo, obviously, if you go all the way down, it's going to be a little bit bad quality. So you want to make sure you select a range like between 20 and maybe 80. I'm going to go for the sake of the video for 50 just to see how big this will be. So let's go for medium 50. Let's save this. And I'm going to do another one because I want to compare them. Let's save it again. And this time I'm going to do all number two. And here I'm going to do even smaller. So let's go for 30 for instance and press OK. Let's open up this image now and let's see the size. You can see here 95 KB. And this was the first one, 127. And when you see the difference, do you see any difference? Me neither. So the quality is the same. You can even go lower. So that's the power of WebP. It's great for web. And what you need to do here is you want to make sure you keep your images below 150 KB. If you can get them lower than 100, that's even better. The lower the file size, the better it will be for Google to optimize your website for the search engine. There's another good thing about WebP. It has a transparent background option like you have with PNG. So you can cut out anything in Photoshop and save it without a background in WebP. So they are a lot smaller. And because you can control the quality, you can make them even smaller just to make them perfect for your website. So use WebP, upload them to your website, and you will see how fast your website loads because website speed is really important for SEO is if you want to make sure your website gets high in the ranking results on Google. If you have a slow website, it's not going to get high in Google and people just get annoyed from your website because everything is going to load really slow, right? So that's pretty much it. Use WebP, try it out and it's really good. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more, make sure to check out my other videos. Till then, catch you in the next video.